we can actually make our way straight to the next dungeon if we'd like. There's only one thing we have to do in order to enter the next dungeon. However, as usual, there are a ton of side quests that we can take part in before going to the next dungeon. First and foremost, we can now finally complete the trading sequence, and this is going to be well worth your time as the reward you get is uh, its pretty powerful. So, uh, we will be doing that, actually we will be doing that in this video. In addition to completing the trading sequence, we can get another piece of heart, we can get a couple more secret seashells if you don't have uh, 20 of them already. We could, uh, we'll also be getting another photograph and a couple other things as well. We want to make our way over to this screen here, and now that we have the hook shot, we can hook on over to the rock on the left side and cross the gap. Head up a screen and left the screen, and there's the mermaid statue. You put the missing scale in the mermaid statue. Remember we got the mermaid scale from the, from the mermaid in the water. Head up a screen and yay, the magnifying lens. You've got the magnifying lens. This will reveal many things you couldn't see before. Head back down the screen and, ah, where'd these guys come from? Remember, you want to be very careful, especially around these arm mimics. They are actually the most powerful enemies in the entire game amongst the regular enemies. If you have the regular tunic and you bump into an arm mimic, they take three full hearts of damage, so you want to be careful. Uh, with this out of the way, we now want to make our way over to Animal Village. The two things we can get in Animal Village right now are another photograph and a piece of heart. The photograph requires that you get that you have gotten the magnifying glass already, while the while the piece of heart requires the hook shot that we got from Catfish's Maw. So we're going to be getting the piece of heart first, and you actually have to leave Animal Village to the south and head on over to where we saw the sleeping walrus and from here we want to head north and along the right side of Animal Village. There's a secret cave here which we could have actually entered this a heck of a long time earlier. Actually the first time we reached Animal Village we could have entered this cave. Problem is there really is nothing we can do up until we got the hook shot. There is a secret wall against the north side, a secret uh, passage through the north wall. And um, it's not abundantly clear that you have to toss a bomb over there. Uh, if you had a screen to the left and then a screen up, you'll notice that there was a passage going to the right. So one would assume that you might be able to find it. Nevertheless, make your way on over here. And you'll notice there's two rocks at the bottom portion of this room, but one is cracked a bit. We can pick up a bomb and toss it at the crack boulder and this will allow us to use the hook shot to get onto the other boulder. There is an alternate way uh, to go about breaking that crack boulder and this is if you already have the both the bombs and the bow and arrow. You can actually place a bomb right here and then shoot an arrow and then the basically the arrow will pick up the bomb and it it comes across as like a bomb arrow, sort of like in Twilight Princess. You can actually combine the bombs and the arrows. Uh, this one is more manual though, since it's not actually in its own item in a way. Anyhow, that's the tenth piece of heart in the game. And if you recall in the last chapter, I said there are 12 in total. However, we're not going to be able to get the 12th piece of heart until it's actually in the middle of the final dungeon, or the 8th dungeon, I shouldn't say final dungeon, but uh, so that's still a ways away. We want to head back over to the main part of Animal Village and head to the northeast building. Enter it, and now that we have the magnifying lens, we can see a Zora. Hey, you can see me. You must have a magnifying lens. I'm not a troublemaker. I just want to live in peace. So these River Zora, these are sort of like the enemy Zora, not to be uh, mixed with the Zora from Ocarina of Time, from Twilight Princess, amongst several other games. The River Zora are more like the evil Zora, while the regular Zora are the good Zora. It's actually kind of cool in, in the game Oracle of Ages, there are both River Zora and uh, regular Zora, and they, they sort of clash with one another because the the regular like humanized Zora don't like I shouldn't say humanized but the human friendly Zora don't like the river evil river, river Zora. 
Anyhow, that's a topic for another time. Uh, our next destination is actually all the way at Tornado Shores, basically at the far southwest corner of Koholint Island. So we are going to go through this same path that we seem to go through every single chapter that we started the game with going to get our sword. So you should be familiar with this by now. If you aren't, uh, okay. <laughs> we can actually make our way all the way to the shores. There's actually, we're actually going to head to a screen I've never even been to yet in this walkthrough. So this is where we got the sword, but if you continue one screen to the right, or two screens to the right, defeat these sand crabs, but there is a bombable wall here. So you want to pull out your bombs and bomb this wall. You could have actually entered this cave a heck of a long time ago, but we couldn't see anything. But now that we have the magnifying lens, we can see stuff. I found a good item washed on the beach. I'll trade it for what you have in your B button. Okay, you want to put the shovel on your B button. Since the shovel is more or less useless at this point, you don't even need it. And in exchange for the shovel, you will get the boomerang. And the boomerang is by far the most powerful weapon in the game. It kills almost every enemy in one hit, several bosses. This single-handedly is a reasoning why you should have gotten the blue tunic since you don't need an upgraded sword since we have the boomerang. I'm making our way here to Crazy Tracy's house. I mentioned it earlier but um, now I'm actually showing it here. And remember you could purchase a, the secret medicine. It's more like a potion and it costs 24 rupees the first time but the second time or 20 eight rupees the first time and then it costs 42 rupees every additional time you purchase it and basically if you die it will refill your health one thing that's pretty interesting about crazy tracy he uh, she was actually in the game captain rainbow released for the nintendo wii but that was actually post i'm not sure if you consider that a cameo i know like link's awakening has a ton of cameos but i wouldn't consider crazy tracy one of them but it's more so crazy tracy plays a cameo role from Link's Awakening. Anyway, just a food for thought. We can enter this cave here in the mysterious forest. You probably passed by this cave so many times, probably might even have gone in and realized we couldn't have done anything yet. But now that we have the hookshot, we can reach over to this treasure chest, and after waiting all that time, all we get is 50 rupees. Uh, we now want to make our way over to where the first warp portal is uh, and I'm fast forwarding this a little bit it's playing at like one and a half speed um, mostly because I'm just trying to I want to fit this portion of the video in in the time limit I'm designated um, but we want to make our way over to the warp portal and then if you've been looking at your map you'll notice that there's one section of the overworld just southeast of uh, May Village that we have completely avoided but now that we have the hookshot, we can actually go through this area. And this is the signpost maze. Head one screen south, and we have to use the Pegasus boots and the Rock's feather to jump across this gap. It could be a bit challenging, so if you mess up once or twice, don't worry about it. You'll eventually get it. I find it easier to jump down and then to the left a little bit. So, uh, like I fell in the hole there, but read the sign here, and it says, Go this way. And the purpose of this maze what you need to do is read, it says go down from that first maze, so I head straight down, and then this signpost says go right, so I head straight right, and I see this one, this one, go this way, that means I go straight down, and you just keep following the maze, the, the signposts, and you have, to, you have to actually read them in a particular order. This one tells you to the, go to the left, and this one requires that you have gotten the hook shot, so hook shot across, and then use the uh, pick up the rocks and then read the sign and then hook shot back over to the right and we could have actually done everything in this maze except this one so this is why we had to hold off I'll be careful there's a secret bush there I have no idea why I fell over so now I have to <laughs> respawn at the corner of this room so I have to use my rocks feather Anyway, from that maze post, sign post, I have to head up, and now I read this one, and it's go this way, and it's basically, it's a simple 
idea. It might seem confusing at first if you don't know exactly what to do, but as long as you just keep following the signposts, it will show you the way. And this will eventually lead you to find a secret cave underground. And in this secret cave, you will learn another ocarina song. The ocarina song is required for the main quest, but also has some side quest implications, and I will be showing you those in the upcoming chapters. One thing worth knowing is you need to have at least 300 rupees to learn the ocarina song. Should be no problem since we got so many extra treasure chests in Catfish's Maw. If, if you don't have the rupees, you can just keep playing the river ride or the trendy game over and over to accumulate rupees. Once you've read all the signposts, a secret staircase will appear in the water on this screen. So head down the staircase and join me for the next video where we will see what's inside.